Hey guys, how are you today? All right. So, I really um, need to sit right now today and add in um, some of these, this stack here on the side of bits and pieces I've been finding and collecting to add to this month's um, uh, section of my year 2017 journal. One of the things I really, really kind of want to do is use some of this fabric in this month. Um, I've been commemorating my grandmother this month who passed away about three, four years ago. Three, I think. Um, in February. Her birthday was in um, around this time of year. She also, she passed away. Her funeral was on Valentine's Day. And this happens to be, it's not the prettiest fabric, I'm aware of that. But this happens to be one of her house coats. And I have a few of them, and although the fabric's not my favorite, they were hers, right? So they're really difficult to get rid of. Um, I want to see about adding a little section of this fabric. It is really time to just go ahead and cut it apart and add a little section of it to the journal and to make, I think, I'm thinking I want to make some sort of a little pocket um, or something. So I'm actually going to get brave here and we're going to just whack off a sleeve. Grandma, I'm sorry. And that fabric will be back. We'll be doing something else with it. Um, if you've watched this, if you're watching, I should say, this video um, and you haven't seen the basic setup for this month yet, um, that video is already here on YouTube and um, the link is in the Facebook group since I am the last week of the month um, and I am wrapping up the month of February and we're I'm going to be starting March on the Sunday after my week. Um, so I'm not going to tell you about the March prompt, but um, um, I do have a video where I go through, you know, just the basic gluing and pasting and my thoughts behind what I put where. And as you can see, as, as of the taping of this, I haven't done my book reviews yet because I haven't written them down. Um, but if you want to, that video is um, is already here on YouTube, and you can um, go see that. Um, it you know I didn't do anything super complicated, but I did um, you know I did I did find a few fun little bits and pieces to stick into my journal, um, and I, I found some more. So let's see what we're gonna do with this piece of fabric. I really do kind of want to make it into some sort of a pocket. Um, all right, so we can put something here. There is space right there. We could put something here at the bottom underneath this love. And I do have some ideas for how I want the pocket to look. I also have this space here, which I might want to use that space. So, how big is that? Let's measure it. Of course, the ruler I grab is the little teeny tiny one, because you know. <laughs> so it's about four and a half by four and a quarter. All right. So let's put that aside. Let's grab our fabric. And I'm going to take off the elastic around the bottom of the sleeve. And I'm going to cut it open down the seam. I'm going to just cut about a quarter of an inch, half an inch off, and, which includes the seam. So we can open it up and have a flat piece of fabric. This would be great to do with um, any fabric that you have um, that to you is going to commemorate something about the month of February and love. Maybe it's a piece of one of your kids' Um, old baby clothes, maybe it's a blouse that you loved or something you wore when you out, went out to a, an event um, with a friend, um, or in my case a piece of vintage fabric that's from someone that you care about who's no longer with us. I'm going to cut a square-ish shape. I'm going to put that aside. And, oops. Make sure. Yep. All right. So I want to get out my box of bits and pieces. Um, I have my fabric scraps or um, and mix me that I use for mixed media organized in a similar fashion to how I have my glue book. Um, it, the bins are just bigger. <laughs> so this one is just literally bits and pieces and trims. 
This one is lace and specialty fabrics like denim and silk. Um, the one underneath is felt. I also have one that's distressed in vintage fabrics and um, one that's just cotton prints. I think for right now we want this one. And um, maybe I might need this lace one. I'm looking for a particular piece of lace that might be, it might be in the vintage bin. Let's see. Yep, here it is. I found it. I have pieces of old quilts. I have handmade lace, store-bought lace. Um, this is a piece of vintage, um, a long piece of vintage lace. Um, and I'm going to cut off a section. the rest back. And I might want this box, so we'll leave that kind of handy. So I'm going to first, I'm going to, I'm going to ravel the edges of this red flannel fabric. This is flan cotton flannel. So I'm going to just distress the edges by pulling some of the threads out. And the fabric is old, so if it rips a little bit, I'm okay with that. Um, I want to distress it, so... Here doesn't want to unravel. Let's cut a little slit, and there we go. Ha ha! All right, and I want to layer it on top of some of this lace. It's a little bit big, so let's let's trim some more. And then I think I want to put some, do I want to put burlap? No, I might just want to put the lace. We might, we'll see. So let me get my sewing machine out. Let's, let's get that sewn up. Okay, so here we've sewn the little square of fabric from grandma's house coat to the lace. I'm going to actually trim off the top and you know because I use fabric for collage and this is a decently sized piece it's not going to go in the trash can it's going to go in my scraps bin and now I want to I think sew this little tag that I found um, in my stash of stuff when I was putting together another video for this week um, and this is from a Crazy Island Family Tag Swap and I think I want to sew this one this one I made, this one was gifted to me, and so I'm trying to decide which one I want to put on here. I'm kind of thinking I like the blue one on here because there's blue in the house coat. So we're going to just quickly sew that on. Now this is a little machine I keep just for sewing paper um, and mixed media applications. Don't do any paper sewing on your really nice dress making machine, it's not good for the machine. Okay, and then I'm going to trim the threads. I'm not going to trim them all the way. If some of the threads kind of are hanging, I'm going to let that go. It lends itself to this just kind of distressed quality of the piece. I know there's another piece of thread there somewhere. That's not it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. OK. 
Okay. So now we have this piece and we can put it in our um, journal. And you can have it be a pocket or you can just have it be a decorative piece. Either way, um, I really like it. How do I want to stick it on there? <laughs> I don't know that I don't want to put something inside of it. But I don't know. I don't think I do. I think I want to just have it be a little art piece now that I've made it. Um, and just have it be something in here. A little piece of grandma. So let's get some glue. Uh, and we're going to just use Elmer's Extreme. Nothing fancy. I'll try to remember to put a materials, to add these th some of these things to the materials list. So if you, if I forget, somebody remind me. Now if you have the type of journal you're using for this year where your pages are loose and you want to have it be a pocket, maybe you want to sew it in. There we go. So there you go, a piece of somebody I love to remember them this year. I'll do some journaling around it. Um, and. Um, I'm going to love having a little piece of her in my journal for this year. This is really great. And I have another little thing I'm going to make with some of that fabric too. It's coming up in an other, another video. So think about creating something that you love and enjoy from something from someone that you love. Maybe they've gifted it to you. Maybe it's a piece of like a, this, a piece of vintage fabric or paper from somebody who's passed. Um, one of your children maybe or grandchildren have given you something. Use the little bits and pieces they've given you, even if if it's not for Valentine's Day in your journal. I think you're going to really like that, um, treasuring their memory um, and their love in your journal in that way. That's it for right now, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. These little mixed media pieces, by the way, of fabric and paper are really great for tags, gifts, not only in your journal, um, but they're great to send out in Happy Mail. Think about adding more fabric and lace to your work. It really is a fun thing to do. Um, if you want to join the Facebook group, My Year 2017, and you're not in, um, not yet in the group, um, or my other group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, or you would like to support my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop, all those links are in the description below. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.